Well, there is always a special buzz on the opening day of any cup competition. The first and only time when all teams, regardless of stature, history, reputation, start from the same position. Everybody can have the same hopes, everybody the same dreams. This could be our year, we're going to do it again, it will be us at last. Those are the sorts of things we hear year on year. Hardly a surprise then that everybody is raring to go. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. And so we stand for the anthems. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. So a strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. There's the whistle, and here we go. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Leonardo Bonucci. He's as imposing as they come, Peter, and he knows just how to use his, his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers. He's also got a very good eye for a killer long ball, so don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter-attacks for his team today. I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. And here's Immobile, goes for goal! Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. No space, no problem, you just cannot stop him. Immobile really showed good strength there, held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. Italy ahead, one goal to the good. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Jorginho. Chiesa. Lovely bit of skill there. Turns and goes back. It's Insignia! No mistake! And they're at it again in double quick time. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Italy get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. 
there could be more on the way. And here's Immobile. Chiesa is on to it and can take it up. And Immobile hits it! They are rampant! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Chiesa. Gets wrestled off the ball. He hits it! Great strike. For the keeper. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Italy are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Looks to bypass the midfield. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Chiesa, who does have an assist to his name. Lorenzo Insigne. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And here's Immobile, Immobile! Oh, the keeper's equal to it. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. And this could be the final action of the first half. Jorginho with the short one. Chooses to go back. Shooting chance! And he heaves it forward. And the half-time whistle goes. And as easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Italy have established themselves in a position of absolute supremacy. An action-packed 45 minutes, and they have raced into a three-goal lead. So we're already into the second period. Chiesa! He's gone for it! Oh, taken with style! Players ecstatic, fans delirious. This is utopian! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footed, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. It's become a case of men against boys. Loose. And it's Insigne. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Battles to win it back. And here's Immobile. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Out to the right. Oh, real danger here! Berati very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough, full-contact contest. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Played back in. Drives it towards the front. Bonucci does well there, alert. 
And here's Immobile. Lorenzo Insigne. Now it's Insigne. He's in space and looking for options. Gets away from his opponent. Has a hit! Jorginho. Somewhat looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Going through. Lorenzo, it's chance! And in again. He scores! Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch, and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Italy tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Baratti plays it forward. So that's it. It is all over. Well, that's the way to launch the campaign. And they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying to the rest of the group, we're intent on staying at the top. On this evidence, I think there's every chance too.